So the question you're all going to be asking is this, who's going to win the Epicenter Major? Now I'm no expert as you well know, I'm a host for a reason, but I do listen to all of the analysts a lot and I do keep a track of the teams playing and which changes they've made and what kind of form they're in as well as studying a lot of stuff on Dota Buff. So as far as I'm concerned, these are just personal opinions. Take them with a pinch of salt if you will. And please, if you're going to bet on the Luckbox site, that's fine as long as you're over the age and you've registered and you're in the right country, of course. But please don't use anything that I've said to, to help you. This is just gut feel. Now... You know, bear with me, gut feel sometimes works out. So who knows, right? Maybe it's a better approach than I'm thinking it is. But anyway, my point is that there are, in my opinion, five teams who are capable of winning the Epicenter Major. And it's not going to surprise you when I tell you that those five teams are all teams that you would expect to be in that top five. It's Virtus Pro, obviously, because they're a fantastic team. They've been together all season long. In fact, for now, nearly over two and a half years. And I think... They've been sandbagging a little bit during the season. Sure, they've won a major. Sure, they've got to a grand final as well. But I think they're holding something back. I think they've learnt their lesson about peaking too soon from last season. And they want to go to the international fresh, revived, ready to go, and without giving away too much about what they're going to be doing. So Virtus Pro are in with a shout. They always are in every tournament they turn up to. Team Secret are also in with a very good shout. They have been the dominant force throughout this season. But again, if if Puppy has learned anything over the last five years, it's the fact that they can't peak too early. Again, he'll be thinking some of the same things. But with the gap between now and the international, I don't know if these guys are going to be that worried about showing stuff that could be used against them at the international in, what, two months' time. So expect Team Secret to go all out and be chilled, and be relaxed, and be ready to fight. And that's a dangerous place to find those boys in. So Secret are going to be one of the favourites too. Outside of that top two, the rest is a little bit of a mishmash of teams, because we all know that the third team I'm going to be choosing are Evil Geniuses, and we all know why they're in third. They have finished third so many times this season. I think it's about time they broke out and moved into the top two spots and do it at a major. We saw it at ESL 1 Birmingham. We know they're capable of beating these top sides. I think this is the major that EG show us that they are absolutely top one world-class potential to go on and do really well at the international as well. And here's a chance for them to prove it at the final major of the season. My fourth team are Team Liquid. Now, these, these guys would normally feature in the top four and be like... Yeah, we know what their favourites. This time round, they're the underdogs of the top four because they've got a replacement, they've got a stand and they've got a new guy, effectively, in the team. Um, but he is a well-pedigreed man, of course, in Weeha. So I expect them to do well still. I don't think it will be like a normal standing team. I think the group stages might find them floundering around a little bit to find some styles and find some things that fit with them completely. But I don't expect it to take long to gel. He's a great player. He's a great man. He's got a great attitude as well. And I think he fits this team perfectly as far as Kuro is concerned so I'm excited to see how he gets on and I wouldn't put it past him to go all the way I really wouldn't it'd be a one of the wonderful stories we've seen it happen before with Virtus Pro last year uh, with Roger I don't see why it can't happen for Weha and Team Liquid here the fifth team might surprise you though and the fifth team are a Chinese team and it's not PSG LGD it's actually Royal Never Give Up now this is a team who I think on paper when you look at it Monet's in there uh, flybys in there, Lanham's in there, Arfu's in there, and coached by Super, a fabulous player. This team has pedigree, this team has high class players, quality all the way through, and a bit of a young buzz about it as well. I expect these boys to be very, very good. Underestimate them at your peril. I might not have them as overall winners, but I think in the top six, they are an absolute certainty to finish inside that top six, and I think they might even surprise a few people and go on and finish inside the top three. Who knows? Of course, PSG are going to be a threat. Of course, VG are going to be a threat. But I also think people like Fnatic, NIP, Alliance, TNC, all on their day can win matches against the best teams in the world. I'm really looking forward to Epicenter Major. Can't wait to see how it all shakes out. Hope you enjoy it too.